Bertie and Clinton Mutual Insurance has launched a community grants program this year. The company is offering over $110,000 to seven nonprofit organizations. BCM a few years ago had the concept, the board of directors came up with it with the staff and wanted to give back to the community um, because it represents the mutual uh, prerogative of providing that support and where the people that we provide insurance to are like our family, so wanting uh, basically the best for all the community and build the capacity to serve. You get all these applications, mm. you sit down and look at them, what is the criteria <laughs> for choosing? So it was very difficult, much more difficult than we anticipated. So we had $110,000 to give out in this round. Um, we had over $900,000 in consideration, uh, different applications. So it was a real challenge. Before we got any applications, we had to set our criteria, which included how it was going to fill a need, right? What the need was and how was it going to fill it? How were they going to sustain the program past the granting dollars, right? Like what would be the lifetime of this contribution? And also, you know, would it give an opportunity for BCM to connect with organizations in a way that was meaningful for us as well. So just a couple of different things and then we had a matrix scoring so it was very fair and we assessed based on whether or not they met that criteria and were able to demonstrate their need and how that need would be filled. The Hope Centre in Welland was thankful for BCM's contribution. We're excited about developing in partnership with Bertie Clinton Mutual a signature fundraiser. So uh, starting October 26th is the first annual uh, Bertie Clinton Mutual Insurance Walk for Hope. So it will uh, hopefully raise funds to support uh, those people that we support at the Hope Center. Were you surprised when you heard the news that you were a recipient? Uh, was I surprised? Yes, I was surprised. I was also more pleased. I was really excited that, uh, you know, for the Hope Centre to partner with uh, such a valued organization like Bertie Clinton Mutual, that it's, it really is going to mean a lot to our organization and really support the Bertie Clinton Mutual Walk for Hope, which is going to be, uh, we hope, uh, a fantastic event. $10,000, nothing to sneeze at. What are you going to do with it? So the $10,000 we receive from Bertie Clinton Mutual is title sponsorship of our annual Good News Breakfast event, which is coming up this December the 6th. How did it feel when you heard the news you were a recipient? Out of 34, I heard. We were very excited and, of course, very grateful. Uh, the Good News Breakfast program helps to support our Christmas program. Every year we do see an increase in clients that need that assistance at Christmas. They need the help with the holiday meal for their family and gifts for their children. And so we're always looking to find new community partners to help us meet that need. And we're so grateful that Bertie Clinton Mutual is one of them this year. Food for Kids Niagara received a grant of $7,500. We're actually putting it right back into one of our events. We're hosting our first Spoiled Palette Gala, which is a culinary showcase that will have 10 restaurants that are coming out and making some, some of their signature dishes, and all of our guests will get to try them and vote for their favorites. So uh, BCM, thankfully, has come on board with us as our presenting sponsor, and they've gifted us with $7,500 that will help us offset some of the costs of putting on an event, and our goal at the event is to be able to feed 60 additional children every weekend for the school year. November 1st, 2019, mark your calendars, we will be considering our next uh, round of applicants. So another $110,000 will be given out, and you know, next year we'll be doing it all over again. Angela, if you applied this time and you did not become a recipient, what do you need to know about reapplying? So we would encourage folks to reapply. So if you weren't um, successful this round, please apply again. Um, the criteria will be posted again. The application might be slightly different. What they need to know is that they have to demonstrate the need. That's the most important thing. Please, you know, sell yourself, sell your organization. Um, tell us about who's going to benefit. Tell us about your the people you serve. And spend a little time being creative with that, with that video, right? That helps. Um, bring home your message. Congratulations to the first seven recipients. The next deadline for grant application is November 1st. For more information, visit bcminsurance.com. In Welland, for The Source, I'm Brenda Schultz.